Moment of silence for the champions For those who make going hard a lifestyle Never wait for nothing, gotta get it right now I'm in the spotlight when they turn the lights down Only a champ swing the hardest in the 12th round we back here, Metal Up Peace, your host, X vs. X Sports. Ron Artest to my right. College basketball phenom coming up. Watch out for him pretty soon he's doing his thing. Um, good to have you here with me, man. Yeah, I live here. You know. Oh, okay, cool. He live here. I ain't stopped by, I walked by. <laughs> hey, you heard it from the horse's mouth. We here, so I see um, your dad, myself, I'm into boxing. And I, I hear you... Uh, talking about boxing sometimes, and I even see you watching the boxing fights. Who's your favorite fighter right now? Give me your top five favorite fighters right now. Probably only name three. All right, uh, name three. You got Mayweather. Okay, Mayweather. We don't know if he's fighting again or not, but, you know, he might, he might, might sneak out of there. And we got uh, Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder. Yeah, I just want to see him knock someone out, <laughs> even if he loses. Uh, okay, uh, who, who's the third one? Uh, Vasil Lamacheco. Oh, okay, Lamacheco. Yeah, I like him. That's a really, that's a really good, that's some really good picks right there. So I remember when you was fourteen, you was thinking about boxing. Yeah. So when you was thinking about boxing, what was going through your mindset? What made you even say you want to even test it out? And remember, we was gonna to go to Floyd Mayweather's gym. Yeah. And he was gonna train you. So how was that whole process in your head? Uh, I mean, I thought it would be fun trying to box, and then uh. Took some some little training classes at Wild Card and got to spar against some people. I ain't landing not one punch. <laughs> getting they was landing every punch on me, so I was like, yeah, this is not what I'm <laughs> fit to do. So check this out. I didn't know you actually sparred. So when you sparred at Wild Card, was Freddie Roach there? Uh, I don't remember. It was a long time ago. How many times did you spar? That one time, I never did it again. <laughs> so your granddad, my pops was. Oh, I wanted to box. My dad was a boxer. He, he boxed in the uh, Golden Gloves in New York. Actually, seeing him knock somebody out when I was young. I can't remember, but I remember the guy falling. My dad got hit first, and he was he was almost out. And then he threw a punch, and he knocked the guy out. But he was definitely out. My dad was out cold in his feet. So he didn't let me box, but he was like, he didn't want to see me getting hit. But I always wanted to box. So um, do you still think you have, you know, the itch to box, or are you just a fan? Oh, I'll, I'll try it again. I just have to put on some weight. <laughs> I gotta be a heavyweight. Well, how much do you weigh now? Two twenty. So you were two twenty six seven. Deontay Wilder is six five. They say six seven, but I think he's six five. He's about. He fought his last fight at two thirteen, but he's really ripped. So everybody says Deontay Wilder needs to gain some weight, but he has so much power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So do you think you would need to put on weight to compete at the heavyweight division? Yeah, versus him, you definitely have to put some weight on everywhere. <laughs> so if if you was if you was to get into the ring with Deontay Wilder, what what would be your strategy? Well, uh, you know, some some side steps, a bunch of side steps. Just, uh, a bunch of side skipping, steps. Skipping, skipping, skipping through the ring. Uh, might might land a jab real quick. And then keep keep moving, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't get caught in the corners. Turn in the corners, all that. You can't, can't get stuck. Oh started. man, this is my strategy. The only way I would fight Deontay Wilder is if his right hand was tied behind his back, <laughs> and he can only throw left hand jabs. I would, and actually, and he he has to start the jab from here. I don't want no extra power, so he has to fight me like this. That's the only way. <laughs> I would fight Deontay Wilder. I'll just he, <laughs> uh, turn around. He, he can't punch. He can't punch the back. Can't punch the back of the head. Can't punch the back. <laughs> and, and, and actually, I would tell, the only way I would fight him, if he could punch like this, and the round would be 30 seconds. That's it. 30 second rounds and a 30 second fight. You know, good for sparring. But shout out to Deontay. I seen him in Vegas airport one time. And he, I remember he had on um, the Michael Jordan. What's the ones I got? The ones I took from you. 11s. The 11s, he had him in red. I remember I was walking through Vegas, and it was just when he was getting started. He was very humble. So shout out to the Bronze Bomber. And uh, we'll be back with more X vs. X Sports. I Ron, think. Oh, he got more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. back. <laughs> what? Yeah. One more. You know, if 
I think I could knock Deontay Wilder out if he stood in one one spot and I just get one clean punch. I think <laughs> so you saying so you saying if Deontay Wilder stood in, can he move his feet? No, nah, he just gotta stay right here. He can't he move. catch one. <laughs> could he punch back? <laughs> no. Oh, no punch back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could he guard? Yeah, 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 he can do all that. <laughs> he can't move. <laughs> there you go, man. X vs X Sports. Shout out to all the boxers out there. X vs X Boxing. X vs X Basketball. Run our test. We'll be back. You beat the newspapers. You sold the magazines. You got the internet, but you ain't got to Google me. My name is up in lights. My face is well known. You see a Super Bowl dancing in the end zone. You see us taking shots of vodka out the sales truck. You see us running out the tunnel looking fired up.